Hello, 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 YouTubers. This is the truth, man, giving you the truth. And on this video, I want to talk about keeping your family together in situations where divorce, divorce is inevitable and keeping your marriage together instead of divorce. If it's possible for you as a man not to be emasculated and for you to be able to be the leader in your house, that's where there's that's not negotiating. That's not negotiable. Ain't no equal nothing. She took your last name for a reason. And if she tried to hyphenate her name, she's showing you right there she's not gonna submit. But anyway. Uh, uh here we go. In case let's start with divorce. You done tried to communicate, you storm off or she storms off. Where everything turns into an argument, you already either not having sex at all, or you barely having it, which a man should be having a lot of sex. Like you should be having a lot of sex. And if you can't if you can't get the rock, then you need to uh, figure out why. Get your rock, man. Get your rock. If you in your forties. 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, you should have no problems getting the rock. And if you a woman, you should be finding out what helps them get the rock. If, hurry up, hurry, hurry up, the kids gonna wake up. If that don't help them get the rock, then you need to find out what helped him get the, 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 you know what I'm saying. But, you tried everything. You tried to talk to her. You know, she, you know she's sneaky. She disrespectful. It's just not you're you're not gonna benefit yourself in any way, and and she needs to go find out whatever it is she looking for. Maybe she's looking for Pookie, but Pookie Ray Ray or Day Day. We don't add a day. I don't add a Day Day to it. If all else fails, the next day, let's say you own a house, right? Let's say you own a house. Let's say it's paid off or or you got a lot of equity in it. Why don't you sell that house? Sell that house before you even get divorced. Sell that house. Get her to agree to, if y'all got kids, to move into a side-by-side. -side, then that way y'all both can see over y'all kids. You ain't got no sideshow potential predator in your house because she has to be happy. Oh, she wants attention. So she bringing this dude around your kids to avoid that. Notice how my voice. I, oh, I hate that. But anyway, to avoid that, why don't you try like. Getting like a side-by-side -side townhouse or a duplex or something. Like if you live in the Midwest, we have a lot of duplex where you got upstairs and downstairs. Give her her freedom. Don't get in her business. Let her do her thing. Get her to agree that y'all not going to bring none of the people y'all deal with around. And no sex with her. Once you divorce, don't do nothing with her. Do it with yourself if you need to. But don't do it with her. So, if she will agree, like, especially if y'all one of them families that's been close that just didn't work out with y'all, like, for whatever reason, um, just try to still live, just keep your arrangement, like, just, just be like, look, I keep paying the mortgage, but now you're going to have to pay, you know, it's not, y'all not together no more, so you're going you're gonna to do things to help the kids. And you're going to help her a little bit because, let's be honest, you know, your dignity, you should want, especially if she struggled with, it just didn't work out. She struggled with you, you, you should do things for her. Like, don't make her rich or nothing, but you, I mean, that's still, you know, if she's not a complete witch just, just trying to suck you dry, then, you know, 
go ahead. Like if she just just dry, she don't want to do nothing. Don't go without sex, man. She ain't giving you none, man. You got to get rid of her. Y'all ain't even, that's a fake wife. But just try to work things out to the point to benefit yourself and to benefit the kids. You know, if duplex, let her live upstairs, you live downstairs. Let her live upstairs, you live downstairs. Let her do her thing. As long as she ain't beef. If she ain't acting like that, it's possible. See, a lot of time, y'all women don't realize that y'all really be the ones that, like, break your household up. If he trying to cooperate with you, 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 you want to be so validated. I don't need no man. But yet, you willing to move your kids away from their daddy, though, so you can have one. You lying. You do need a man. And all that repression, all that holding back sex, you ready to give it to somebody else. That's why you don't want to live side by side. See, it should, once your relationship fails, it's still you still want to have a decent relationship with your kid. You want to be right there for your kids. Don't make them choose sides. Just be, like, oversee your kid. Now, if she's going to be... I don't know if she now she just super disrespectful, then it's not gonna work. If she thinks she's gonna suck you dry, she don't wanna cooperate, get the cheap lowest paying job ever, and get do everything under the table where you can pay in cash and still do the same for your kids, but just make sure she ain't getting that much. She don't wanna cooperate. Do not be y'all got high paying jobs. I feel for you. I do. That's a crying shame. That's why people, shout out to every guy on this YouTube talking about relationships that benefit men and keep them from getting married. All of them, man. All of them. All of them. I, don't, I just came across a new one. Uh, what's his name? Five Years of Freedom. That dude is good with it. And funny, too. Like, I like laughing, man. So I like when they good with their information. They present the stats, and they funny. Grown man business, five years of freedom. These guys is funny, man. They funny with it. You know? But if she's not going to cooperate, she just, whoa, I ain't. What she's really saying, if, if, the, if her mind and heart could speak where you could hear it, and she won't cooperate, what she's really saying is, Hi, I am Jezebel, reincarnated. Here's Lilith. Remember how he said on the shining, here's Johnny. She would, if, if, if the reality could speak, these uncooperative women moving their kids away from their daddy. Here's Lilith. Get out of here with that, man. But yeah, if you can, just try to do that, man. Try to do it. Try to work something out out of the courts. Because if you, if she don't understand, if she makes you poor, she's making the kids poor. And if she making the kids poor, can she really say that she cares about them? No, she can't. No, she can't. She can say that she cares about the devil. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy Anything you do where you stealing, killing, and destroying, you are doing the work of the devil. The Bible says that he comes that you may have life and have it more abundantly. It says the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So you, I don't care how much you paint your toenails. I don't care how many uh, pedicures, manicures you get. I don't care how many braids you got. I don't care how you try to make your voice sound so nice and you in the gym making your butt real real nice and, and and round and all the lovely woman things you do under all that you are filthy devil you are jezebel you're jezebel you're jezebel you sucking these dudes financial resources dry because they don't want you no more or you don't want them no more that's the work of the devil i don't care how you try to spin it that and y'all wonder why some of y'all women can't get a prayer to god 
Why don't you look at how you doing your husband? Why don't you look at that? You sucking your husband dry, then you trying to pray to God. He looking at you like, if you don't get out of my face, you ruining his life. And then some of them, did, oh my, this stuff is crazy. Some of them, and I'm, a, I'm finna get started, but some of them, they will literally break up with you, hit you with alimony, child support, go see what's out there, get smashed by four or five dudes, right? All them dudes telling them, stop calling me B-I-T-C-H and all this, all that, dogging them. And here they come with their looser vagina, VJ, thinking you supposed to take them back. You know what you should tell her? You still disrespecting me. You want me to take you back after you've been out there doing who knows what and probably doing more to them than you did to me. These women be out there eating. Let's move on. Let's move along. Let's go to if you can keep your marriage together. It starts with submission. If she's not willing to submit, you need to tell her the truth. You need to tell her you haven't been some. Don't argue with her. Try to keep a calm voice. You haven't been submissive. You're a wife. I believe in the Bible. The Bible says, read it. Read it together. I need you to be more submissive. If she's uncooperative, divorce is biblical. The Bible says if you find any indecency in her, unsubmissiveness is indecency. So I wouldn't suggest that every time a woman's unsubmissive, you try to get rid of them. I'm saying that if it gets to the point where she's choosing what, what sex acts to do, and not do choosing when she's gonna give it to you and she does i mean this type of stuff is going too far but if she's a communicator if you can come sit her down and be like listen i don't want to divorce but i i need you what what i can't have is xyz this that uh, just lay it out and tell her that you're willing to listen and you're willing to work with her. Whatever it is she says, she wants other than happiness. It's not your job to make her happy. If she tried to say that, tell her it's not your job to make her happy. You will try to do the things that she wants you to do, but you want her to understand that it's not your job to make her happy. That's not even what a marriage is about. That's why in other countries they have arranged marriages because marriage is business. It's business. It's the business of keeping your seed alive. It's the business of, it's business from everything, financial, all types of things. You must get her to understand that it's not your job to make her happy. And you got to get her to understand her role as a wife and research your role as a husband. If she doesn't want to work long hours and you got her working long hours, you got her paying all these bills, you want her to submit though. You need to figure out what you're going to do to get your income up. You need to figure that out. You need to figure that out because in all fairness, if y'all both work in the same amount of hours or she working more hours than you, you can't expect her to always be the one to cook, always be the one to clean. If she works in the morning and you work at night, 
then she cleans when she gets a chance and you clean when you get a chance and on the weekends y'all clean together I mean that's that's fair that's fair you want her to work all them hours man you you gonna have to step up you gonna have to step up but what's not acceptable is you doing everything if she's a housewife that's not acceptable do not take that off of her do not take that off of her no matter what no matter what oh well this wrong with me that wrong with me you need to go to urgent care you need to go to the emergency you need to figure out how you going to uh, build yourself up. But a guy that's working long hours should not be coming home doing all, all the home stuff. Now, as far as yard work, yeah, you should be doing that. Or if you got sons, they should be doing it. If you got older sons, they should be doing it. But do not be doing everything for these women. That is a sin. And I'm going to tell you how it's a sin because anything that goes against what God set up is a sin. Whether it's a law, whether it's a commandment, anything that the Most High says is law. He said that he will get a help me suitable to him. He said that man shall have rule over you. So, if any woman that has rule over her man is going against God. And I'm telling you guys, you don't want a woman that doesn't care about the things of God or is disobedient toward God. Is a fake wife or a fake Christian. You don't, you don't want to deal with none of that. You, want, you, you better be a freak. I ain't trying to hear nothing. You better be a freak. And y'all, and then it was funny is, Okay. People be, oh, the kid's going to hear. The kid's going to hear. This might sound crazy, but as they get older, they probably should. Smack, smack, hear you clapping. Would you, you want them to go around? Hi. I'm. I. I this is YouTube. I'm, I'm not going to go where I was going to go. But anyway, let's close this video. This is the truth, man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. On this video, I was talking about keeping your family together, even after divorce. If you can, it's a good thing to try to do. Give her her space and freedom. Stay out of her business. As long as she don't bring no drama or trouble to you. Don't bring no side shows around the kids. Um, if it's possible, like I said, duplex, townhouse, move next door, move across the street. And and when it comes to keeping your marriage, try to keep your marriage together if possible. But some things are not negotiable. No man should be emasculated to keep his marriage together. That's If she's emasculating you and disrespecting you and she's not going to stop, then that's grounds for divorce. Get you a wife that's going to respect you, give you some, and treat you like a king and the man you are. The channel is the no matrix, no stand with bunk fake wives. No lit and side shows, raise your kids. All subjects, channel. Thanks for watching.